Sajjan Kumar, we told you the 1984 uh, case uh, which was up in the Delhi High Court. He stands convicted. That's the latest we are getting in from the Delhi High Court. Let's go across to my colleague uh, Amitot Singh joining us live at this point. All right, we'll just connect with Amitot in just a bit. The news that we have is that the judge said it is important to assure the victims that despite the challenges, truth will prevail. Abject police failure, courage of uh, Jagdish Kaur that he mentioned one of the family members in this case who lost uh, their lives. Now, the abject failure of police to stop failure, to register, uh, to stop from registering FIR. And uh, also mentioning at this point that the witness uh, Jagdish Kaur was fearless in coming out at this point. And we're just bringing you live updates at the, as the judgment is being read out at the Delhi High Court. It also says the aftershock of those atrocities still being felt. Impossible case under normal scheme of things, active steps taken to protect him. So all these uh, initial judgments uh, being read out by uh, the High Court judge at this point. Remember, it was judgment day for Sajjan Kumar as uh, he had been acquitted earlier in a lower court. He was given a clean shit came into the High Court, the CBI appealed against his acquittal, said that based on the statements of five witnesses, there were others who were, who were found guilty, then why not uh, apply the same to Sajjan Kumar as well? And now a High Court finding him, finding him guilty in this case. Also, fresh news coming in as we're getting more updates from our colleague Amitop Singh, who's inside the courtroom at this point. The judge saying attack on Rajnagar Gurudwara was clearly an attack in line with communal agenda. Also saying that criminals have enjoyed political patronage. That's a big statement coming in from the Delhi High Court at this point where, like we said, the judgment is being read out as we speak.